Hello, welcome to Revenant Reads. I'm Vin, and these are the Q&R book tags. So these tags were created over at Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. Uh, he had created these tags a few months back. I didn't have a lot of time then to make tag videos, but I wanted to do them, and I am doing them now. And uh, some of these prompts that he has in here, uh, he created prompts based on letters of the alphabet. Um, some of them I'll be skipping. Uh, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll get through the ones that I think I can maybe answer, or maybe sometimes the inability to answer uh, is revealing as well. Um, but anyway, without further ado, uh, here are the prompts for the Q tag. Uh, the first one, Q is for quick. Uh, what was a quick read for you, a book you read in one or two sittings? Um, I remember one of the first books I just read, like, cover to cover. Uh, that was Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, and that was in middle school. Um, maybe, I'm guessing eighth grade, maybe, that I read that. Uh, but I remember getting it that day in school and then just reading it that night. Um, but that's probably one of the first ones. Uh, Q is for quantity and quality. Uh, would you rather read 10 okay books in a month or one very good book? Uh, depends on what I'm reading for. Um, am I still learning a lot from those 10 okay books? I'll be okay with that then. <laughs> uh, you know, if I'm still getting a lot of information, even if the reading experience is just okay, um, I, I would be okay with that. Uh, but um, of course, one very good book is also uh, acceptable. Uh, Q is for queer. Uh, do you have a favorite queer author? Uh, you know, there are still a lot of queer authors that I need to read. Um, those who I know are queer and also are authors, you know, there are certainly many I'm sure that I've read that I'm just not even aware. Uh, at this point, as far as the two criteria, I know that they are queer, were queer, and I've read them. That would probably be like Oscar Wilde or something, The Picture of Dorian Gray. Uh, Q is for quiet. Do you need quiet to read? Uh, for the most part, yes. Um, I don't mind a little bit of like white noise or soft instrumental background, that's fine. Uh, but again, I've got like a five-year-old daughter and nine-year-old son. Sometimes it can be very loud and it is difficult to concentrate a sentence when that, you know, experience is being punctuated by loud noises uh, in between. So I do need it somewhat quiet. Uh, Q is for Quran. Uh, have you read the Quran? Uh, only parts of it. Q is for Queensland, Qatar, Quito, and Quebec. Have you read a book from any of these places or anywhere beginning with Q? Uh, not the ones that he's mentioned. Um, I'm sure that I've read something to do with Queens, New York, uh, but I can't think of anything specific. Uh, Q is for Quaker. Has there been a Quaker protagonist or character in any of your reading? No, not really. Um, certainly some history books I've read have dealt with William Penn. Uh, not exclusively him, but he's certainly been a part of it. Um, and that's, he was the Quaker founder of Pennsylvania. The next one, uh, Q is for quote. Can you share some quotes about reading? Uh, this is not a direct quote, it's kind of a paraphrase. Uh, I don't think that there is anybody it's directly attributed to, um, but it's one that I've shared with my students before, and that is, a person who doesn't read has no advantage over one who can't read. Um, you know, so <laughs> that one sometimes usually, usually gets them to at least read a couple more sentences. Q is for quill. Uh, have you had any writings published? Um, nothing, nothing major at all. Uh, I've had some essays and stuff like that published, uh, through, like, the university and everything. I have had some stuff self-published. Uh, we did, uh, with some friends, we published a chapbook of a collection of poetry. Um, uh, and I published little things, like, uh, this is one that I had made, um, uh, when I went to Hungary, um, I kept a log and I ended up writing, basically, I just wanted to try travel writing. Um, and trying to write in the present tense in particular. Uh, so I had um, published this and I gave it as a gift to uh, my friend's family who, um, who, you know, who we stayed with and everything like that, kind of as a thank you. Um, but I called it um, In a Land Reawakening, Travels Through Hungary. Um, so, uh, you know, it was just a little, a little kind of thing. It's, it's not like it's widely available or anything. Um, but it was really just kind of as a, as a thank you to, uh, to the people who hosted us. Um, and it's a nice thing to, to go back and look through. We were there for a couple of weeks and, 
uh, you know, here's uh, day eight where prostitutes don't have the time, Budapest. Um, so that's the kind of thing that I've published, but that's about it. Uh, Q is for a quiz question and quilp. Quilp featured in which Dickens novel? Uh, I've only read A Christmas Carol by Dickens, and I'm pretty sure he was not in it. So I at least know which book it wasn't in. Um, so we're going to the bonus prompts. Uh, Q is for Queen. Do you have a favorite book about a queen or even about the queen? Uh, no, um, I don't. Uh, I don't think I've read enough about female royalty. Um, Q is for Quetzal. Have you ever seen a Quetzal? Uh, a beautiful bird, but only in pictures. I've never seen one in real life. Um, Q is for Quadruped. A chance to show your four-legged pet. Uh, and here I will insert some footage of my dog, Shelby, uh, who is um, almost 14 years old now. Uh, you can see a little bit. She's just, you know, her hips aren't working right as much. Uh, but, you know, some people still look at her and think that she's a puppy. But now she's she's going to be an old lady. But, uh, you know, she's our first kid. Um, so I'll put in some footage here of her. Your toys? <laughs> Q is for quarrel. Uh, have you ever argued about a book? Uh, not exactly. I mean, maybe the Bible. <laughs> uh, not argue, but debate. Um, and that is it for the Q tag. So we're going to go on to the R tag. And this is one that I was actually officially tagged in uh, for my channel name, Revenant Reads. Um, so here's the first prompt for the R tag. Uh, R is for reading. Why do you love reading? Uh, I love to learn. Um, I love to explore the internal world of my mind. Um, I love to, you know, get insight into other people's, other people's thoughts, other people's heads. Um, and it's, I, I love being a student of life and, uh, you know, the way that I, I celebrate that and explore that is through books. Um, next one, R is for Russia. Uh, who is your favorite Russian writer? I haven't read the big ones. I haven't read Tolstoy or Dostoevsky or anything like that. Um, I would consider Vladimir Nobokov my favorite Russian writer, even though, of course, he ended up leaving Russia. Um, didn't know he's right in Russian, uh, but I've read a couple novels by him, uh, including Lolita, The Eye, so some of his shorter works. Um, and I have always really liked it, and I want to get back to reading some of his stuff again. So I'll say Vladimir Nobokov. R is for romance. What is your favorite romantic novel? Uh... <laughs> I think we're saying romantic. I think he's got a yeah, he's got a lowercase r. So we're talking like love. Um, I haven't read a lot of them. Uh, I do like some Jane Austen stuff. Um, I think my favorite book by her is probably Persuasion. But if we're saying like for the romance, maybe I guess uh, Pride and Prejudice. Uh, that would probably be my favorite. Um, r is for Renoir. Uh, do you have a favorite Renoir painting? Um, and I think he had also said that we could trade this out for Rembrandt uh, if we wanted to. He says that later, I believe. Um, I'm not big on Renoir. Uh, I, I'm put off by his faces. <laughs> People's faces always kind of have this weird, like, duck quality in his paintings. Um, you know, so I, I, I'm not really drawn to him. I think my favorite him would probably be, like, The Large Bathers from 1886 for no reason in particular. Uh... I like Rembrandt a lot better, um, and he has this, uh, I think it's called The Anatomy Lesson or something, I don't remember the doctor's name, um, but he has this painting of uh, just this uh, cadaver <laughs> out that's being dissected, and they're all like, you know, looking kind of at the body, but more at the painting, 
because I think this was a painting that was made uh, where people would actually like pay to be in it. Um, and like every year they would have a painting painter come in and paint this, a scene like this. Um, so that was like Rembrandt's year, I think. But it's it's uh, it's the anatomy lesson of something. Um, I'm, I'm blanking on the name, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, if I can find an image of it, I'll, I'll put it in the video. But I do like that one. Um, and next prompt is R is for Regency. Uh, do you have a favorite book written in the Regency period other than by Jane Austen? Uh, see, yeah, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. That was Regency period. Um, classic work of, of gothic horror. Uh, so yeah, uh, Frankenstein. Um, let's see. R is for, uh, Roman McClef. I don't know if I'm actually saying that right. I'm sorry. Uh, I I watched Jim's video about this so long ago. I don't remember how he pronounced it. Uh, he's, Tell us about a Roman Clef you like. And I know that's something like where real people are given invented names. I know that's basically what it is. Um, but uh, I'd say if, like Animal Farm. <laughs> that's kind of one of those, right? Uh, these animals are stand-ins for figures of the... Russian Revolution. Um, so I'll say Animal Farm for that. Uh, R is for Rustavelli, the most revered Georgian writer. Have you heard of him? I have not. Sorry. Um, and he says, the last prompt is a little different. Imagine you were isolated in a log cabin with no internet and no Kindle. In the cabin, there are books by the following writers beginning with R. Uh, Racine, uh, Kathy Rikes, Anne Rice, Ian Rankin, Ruth Rendell, uh, Arundhati Roy, I'm butchering these, J.K. Rowling, and Salman Rushdie. Whose books would you lead, read first, and whose would you leave to the last? You can also rank the authors, uh, if you so wish, by your personal preference. The only two authors from this list, and I've mentioned in past videos, I have not, I'm not a widely read fiction writer, reader at all. I mostly read nonfiction. Um, the only two that I've actually read from that list are Anne Rice and J.K. Rowling. Uh, and I put the reading in that order. <laughs> um, so I start with Anne Rice, and then I go on to J.K. Rowling, I guess. Um, and that is it for the R tag. Uh, so again, that concludes everything, right? The Q and the R tag. Thanks once again to Jim uh, for creating these, and also for tagging me in the R tag. And uh, you watched. Thank you, as always, BookTube.